hi there. So one day later, um, I came back, I opened the, the syllabus that I've been working on uh, last night. So after I stopped recording, I moved everything to Google Sheets so it's on the cloud and I don't miss it. And I have uh, color coded different things from uh, presentation, screen share, theory, live video, resource um, or use cases. And the whole point of this is to know how much theory am I showing you, how much uh, you know resources am I uh, providing, how much use cases, right? Now, uh, it's a final step of the research. Something I, something I really, really wanted to show you was um, the review mining technique. So this is known for many years by marketers. You go, you see your competitor's products and um, you check the reviews of the people and see what do people actually care about? Why do people like uh, the product your competitor has created, right? So I just went to this course. Apparently it's the best course online. Uh, everybody's um, best course so far. <laughs> Apparently everybody is loving the course. And what I wanted to do was, I wanted to check out the ratings, see what people are saying, but there are 14,000 ratings. How do you go through 14,000 ratings? Well, show reviews and I will, um, I will basically load as many reviews as I can um, and then analyze them. Now, as a, someone who has taught statistics, you know, um, we wouldn't need more than a couple hundred reviews, right? Um, but, but yeah, I just wanted to, to mention this. We will load and load and load and load. And, um, once we're done with loading, we will simply copy paste everything, right? So here is what we're going to do. I'll stop for now. So I'll copy the whole thing and I'll paste it in ChatGPT. So all the reviews, all the, uh, even the course content itself here, you know, it starts with the course name and the content and everything. And then it continues with all these reviews that, um, we have found. Now I'll try to do this in ChatGPT. And as you can see, there was an error generating the response. The message is too long. ChatGPT has these limits and, uh, we have talked about it many times, but, uh, the, um, we have talked it about many times, but he, here they are. You know, GPT-4 has max tokens, 8,000 tokens. That's about 6,000 words. And there is the GPT-4-32K, which is with 32,000 tokens. But um, you do not have access to it um, normally. So message is too long. Now I'll go to the token calculator, token count counter, and I will count the tokens. I have passed a message with 28,000 tokens. 28,000 tokens is a lot of tokens, right? Um, now, in this case, since I don't can't use ChatGPT, I'll use uh, another product. I'll use Claude Bianthropic. We have mentioned it before. Um, we I don't normally use it because I think GPT-4 is better, but when it comes to long text, Anthropic, is uh, very, very good. I'll paste the text here. So a hundred kilobytes of text and I'll also write, um, these are some reviews uh, for one of the best courses on ChatGPT out there. Please, uh, uh, based on the reviews by these actual users, uh make a list of the most important things for uh students of this course now i'm sending this and i'm parsing all the data all this data that i that i found i'm parsing I, i'm giving it as an input and i'm asking the the model analyze this data and tell me what do people actually care about right 
why are they loving this course so much? Why is this the best course? Okay, here is the summary. The course provides a comprehensive overview of ChatGPT and many other tools. It covers the fundamentals as well as advanced techniques. Okay, so what we should be doing is a comprehensive overview, right? Comprehensive overview. I will write this down um, over here. Comprehensive overview. I'm writing it so I can see it in a bit. Second. The instructors explain the concepts clear, clearly and provide good real-world examples, reinforce the lessons. Uh, okay, so this is about the instructors. If they're good, they're good. Uh, we can't, you know, uh, copy their style. Everybody has a style. So uh, let's see. But the thing is real-world examples. This is what people want to see, right? Okay. And then the course content is well organized into sections, making it easy to digest. PDF guides are provided as supplemental materials. Okay, and uh, so this is the third thing people care about the most, PDF guides. Okay. Okay, students uh, learn effective Prompting techniques, that's key. Prompt engineering, that's key. The course teaches how to automate tasks, generate content, improve workflows, boost productivity. Students can apply these skills directly. So these are all important things for our course. We want apply directly. Okay. And, um, and so on and so forth, right? So we have a list of these things um, that, 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 are, that people really love. And now that we know them, well, uh, the only thing we, that is left for us to do is to actually do it. And I have started implementing this. You see, uh, I've changed the name of the course to ChatGPT for Work, a comprehensive course. Uh, I, I'm trying to... You know, people have been saying many times that the course is so comprehensive, so good, the course of the competitors, right? So I want to, to, to point this out from the very beginning, you know, of the, of the um, journey of the person. They come and they're like, ChatGPT for work, a comprehensive course. Okay, so this is kind of what I need. I need a comprehensive course. And I know this because people have been saying it many times, right, in the reviews. Then... Real world examples, absolutely. I have called these use cases and most of my curriculum will be, you know, shining in green because these are the most important ones. So, absolutely. PDF guides. Actually, I did this exercise right before um, recording and here's what it had to say about the PDF. The prompting PDF guide is highly valued. So prompting PDF guide. There is some PDF guide that these guys have created. I haven't seen it, but I have seen from the reviews that the prompting guide is highly valued. What did, what did this mean for me? PDF with prompts. I still don't know how this would look like. Probably it's going to be some summary of everything that um, I will be talking about, but uh, that I'll create in, in the end. But I know the PDF is highly valued and I have created a separate section. Uh, look at this. Um, first section, meet your instructor. What does the course cover and, and something about ChatGPT? Second section, immediately PDF with prompts, right? This is what people care about. And that's what they will receive, right? And finally, apply everything directly. This is a, a light motif for me when I'm creating the next uh, lectures to make sure everything could be applied directly as soon as possible, right? And these are the things. Um, they're already implemented in this syllabus because uh, I, I took the liberty of, uh, of <laughs> checking this out before uh, creating the video so I can provide a bit more value to you. And yeah, so that's that. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited about uh, being able to do this technique. I think everybody should um, should be looking at the reviews, uh, what people want, and um, basically do it. 
So yeah, that was a a real real world example that I think will make this course much much better for everybody. Thanks so much, and uh, see you in the next video.